This is this is a beautiful scene. Uh, as much as I want to stay out of the snow, I'm not big on the snow much anymore. But it makes for great photography. I just don't really like driving it much anymore, and the cold weather. But for landscape photography, it's wonderful. Starting to get some really nice light on these pine trees down here in the distance. Lighting up real nice. I took a couple shots, but then didn't really have that light on it so i'm gonna grab a couple more i got my 70 to 300 in just so i can kind of zoom in and focus on those trees and that way i can kind of cut these trees out in the foreground it's just kind of hard to get a nice big open area because we just have all these trees just lying the road so trying to shoot over them so right now 70 to 300 on. And I'm going to shoot at, I'm still sh just shooting an F, just shooting F11. ISO, ISO 100, a tenth of a second. to the right of me kind of all around these woods you got these let's see here see if I can focus on it you got these trees here that don't have defined bark it's just nice and smooth it's almost like a reddish brown and then with this fresh snow on it it's just it's just cool looking so I'm going to change my change my direction and kind of crop in real tight probably maybe a probably a square crop photo one by one and just get just those branches coming up going through all that white fresh snow and the little twigs and all that so you're gonna have the white with the nice reddish brown colors going around going up through it almost like veins so, let's grab a shot of that. ourselves uh, another viewpoint this here there's there's trees in the foreground that have nice snow coverage on them we got this hill in the background nice clouds in the sky and that lights is peeking through whatever 
snow clouds that's right here in the valley and down at the bottom of this this hill right here kind of got this snow slash looks like fog um, that light is when I got here it wasn't much light but it's starting to peek through a bit more and it's just lighting up real nice so as usual let's grab some of those I've got it framed up already zoomed it well I'm zoomed all the way out to 70 millimeter shooting that F11, 20th of a second, ISO 100. pretty much covered now but we got these two pines we got one here and then another one here put my 70 to 24 to 70 on zoomed out the 24 and then use these pines here to create a nice nice frame leading into into that scene these pines everything is lighting up gorgeous even that that sun's getting higher but clouds are still rolling in and out so hopefully some more roll in, diffuse that light a little bit so it's not so strong. But I think I got what I can from here. I'm getting, it's the only thing I like. Yeah, there we go. Now, I'm lit nicely now. But I'm gonna pack up, see what see what else we can find. I think I shot, shot what I could here. So let's head on down the road some. nice about these scenes the snow and all that and the woodland you don't have to go very far to find nice compositions right here in the foreground I already took some photos of it but it's another tree with that like I said no bark and kind of reddish reddish brown trunks and limbs and all that right here and I framed it up I shot vertical portrait style and in the background is a lot darker and this tree here that sun's kind of side backlighting and just making the glow I mean it's it's gorgeous and with that back it really dark, dark background it really separates that tree from the background and you got the nice dramatic clouds in the back rolling over these darker snow covered snow snow covered tree hills if you I guess that's how you describe it. But I already snapped a couple of those and as I'm standing here, the hill in the back, same same hill we've been shooting, but different different angle. And that light's just hitting those really nice. I know the sun's getting a little little more harsh, but it's still it's not harsh shadows and all that. So I wanna get some get some shots of that. <laughs> tight on that hill and just filled the frame with just the trees and I shot it at a one by one crop and I think it's gonna come out really nice I also took a shot zoomed out a little bit more we'll see how that looks but we're gonna move on and I hope you enjoy these this one or two shots I just grabbed from here so let's head out It's 
I know sometimes when I'm doing these out and abouts here, kind of feels like I feel it too. Sometimes I'm all over the place. I would like to explain a little bit more than what I'm doing, but I'm just traveling the U.S. and trying to stay at all these free places that I can find. And the only problem with that is I don't really know where I'm staying from night to night a lot of times. I just kind of pack up, pull up my app, find the next free place to, to stay at. A lot of times they hit, people put, throw photos on it and it kind of gives me an idea of the, of the place. But I don't really know the areas and sometimes I don't have a chance to go out and scout the area out, which I tried to do, so I kind of know where I'm going. But other times it's kind of on a whim. I'm just kind of going out. Hopefully I can grab stuff. And that's the only difficult part about not knowing where you're going. Can't really plan much. I'm just going with it and taking you along. But which I'll be playing a little bit better. But I mean this this morning was kinda a little bit all a little bit all over the place. Got some nice images. We're still out and about. But I turn around and head back up the hill because that direction we go just keeps going further and further into the valley. And the sun just doesn't break through. So we're gonna head up back up towards the truck direction and possibly go further up that hill and hopefully get a larger large view more clear view and possibly get a wider shot of the whole scene right now it's can kind of a lot of tighter shots because right here along the edge of the road you got all these trees that want to peek into the shots at the bottom at the top and side to side and you kind of got to take a lot more tighter shots to get them out of the frame. So we're going to head out that direction, see something along the way that we didn't see on the way down. I'm going to take a photo of it. So along we go. we are hiking back up up the trail where we came from back towards the truck the sky all those clouds are just kept moving that way and behind us nothing just bright blue skies so I'm gonna wait until this evening because I'm pretty sure I think there's more snow coming this evening so it should get pretty nice soft light and all that come come sunset because right now even going going through the woodland the sun's just going to be too, so high and so harsh whatever light comes down through the trees it's just going to be strong patchy patchy sections of light just not it's not very eye appealing if it was overcast then i would go about doing it but we're just going to go back to the truck hang out for a while if the clouds over again and that snow comes in then possibly i might head out earlier but we'll just wait until this evening head up the hill because that sun's going to set this direction here and like that same valley a whole different direction so all those trees to my left when i was shooting will be lit up this time um, and last night when i was looking around they lit up real nice so so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back up to the truck and then hopefully we see you this evening. If something goes awry and I can't get out, next couple of days supposed to be nice and cold. <clears throat> so all the snow should still be here. I'm gonna be up here for a few days because about two or three days, it's gonna get real warm. So hopefully that melts a lot of the snow that's on this road because I really don't wanna go down this right now. <laughs> 
as it is if I don't have to because it's just going to be real slick and like I said it's real windy and a lot of sh lot and a lot of sharp turns with no guardrails just straight drop offs so I don't really want to deal with that so but until then hopefully we see you this evening if not I'll get back with you well it doesn't look like I'm gonna be getting out and doing any evening shooting uh, tonight I've been hanging out in the camper all day and throughout the day the wind just kept picking up a bunch just blowing all the snow off well not all the snow but a lot of the snow off the trees a lot of the snow was melted and like here's the road i mean that was snow covered this morning and this right here this tree right that's that tree i shot this morning with the that has the reddish brown trunk and all that and there's pretty much no snow on it now i just walked up walked up that road where i was talking about going this evening to try to get a higher vantage point and there's really nothing up there out here I mean, we still got some snow on the trees but i've already shot that this morning and then on the other side there is another big valley not really just like here you get all these trees in the foreground you just can't really get a good shot plus like all the snow back there has either been melted off or blown off from the wind so sorry about this morning i seen a little groggy and a little more monotone it's just last couple nights i just had not had good nights of sleep even a couple nights ago i stayed in a hotel and could not go to sleep i only got like four hours of sleep and then same thing last night i just cannot fall asleep and i got up at five but glad i did go out for those who hung in there and pushed through my monotone is thank you um but tomorrow, tomorrow the next day, there's another place like 30 minutes from here. It's right down by the river. I'm probably going to go check that out because we're on parts. Uh, just no sunlight really. And right now my truck's running to help charge my batteries up for my solar. So either tomorrow or the next day, probably head out, hit the other spot. Um, and maybe there's some snow down there. But I don't probably not it's supposed to be up in the 40s or whatever but i think i'll go ahead and end it here glad i went out this morning got some nice nice shots and very happy when it was a gorgeous morning beautiful morning and i'm glad I just fought through my tiredness and at least i had to shoot a video even though i was tired um had had to show that it was just too beautiful not to shoot I would have really kicked myself in the butt if I didn't. So, but with that being said, thanks for making it through all this. And we will see you on the next video, hopefully down by that river. So until then, we'll see you.